former World Series MVP, a World Series champion. Here's a guy over the last five years that basically was averaging 100 RBIs as well as 30 plus home runs. But why isn't he playing? Especially when you see what kind of shape he's in at what I call a young age of 36. Uh, Jermaine, is that about the best way to introduce you? You know, it's been a crazy season, something that I haven't uh, had in a long time where, you know, just been able to sit back and and hang out with the family and relax a little bit. Um, you know, it was a, it was a weird off season. Uh, a lot of guys didn't, didn't get the, the jobs that they really wanted. I looked at it this way. I've been in the big leagues for 14 years. Right I've produced uh, year in and year out. And for me, it was it, I would have to go to the right situation. I didn't want to be a fourth outfielder. Didn't want to come off the bench. Um, never DH before. Um, didn't want to try to experience that because I felt like you know I was still valuable, valuable to go out in the field and play as an everyday player. And of course, as you get older, you lose a step. But still, with me losing a step is um, still valuable to a team in order to help them win a championship. JD, it was just a few years back that you were holding up that World Series MVP trophy, getting yourself a, a cool little Chevrolet truck coupe. Uh, for winning that as well. At that time, through the celebration, the week or two after, did you think that you would be out of baseball at 36 years old, knowing that you can still play and contribute? No. Uh, you know, being, what, five years ago. Mm -hmm. um, Man, it doesn't seem. It was does, it that long? It's, it's, it feels like it was just yesterday, but, um, you know, you, you know there's going to come a time where you're not going to play forever, so. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough to, to get in the big leagues at 22 and have a, a great career. And, you know, if I don't ever play a game again, you know, I'm, I'm happy with what I did. And, um, you know, I feel like I can do a little bit more. But, you know, maybe me sitting out, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. I was blown away when I went to Chicago to find out just how big you were there. You know, anytime you win a, a World Series in a big city like Chicago, I mean, it's, it's awesome. And that's something that they will never forget. And they appreciate that. And, um, you know, who knows? Someday I may go work in the organization doing something. So, you know, it was, it was great to, to walk out on that field and get the standing ovation like I did. And uh, I was surprised at how loud it was also. So. Um, it makes me feel proud of, you know, inside just to, to tell myself, you know, I, I play pretty well here and, you know, the fans appreciate that and, uh, you know, I was, I was happy with it. Is it fair to say that if you're going to do it, you're going to have to remain somewhere, maybe halfway on this, uh, this end of the United States, the West Coast or whatever, and that the East Coast probably wouldn't be an option for you? Well, it depends. I mean, you know, everyone wants to play close to home. So, you know, later on in my career, you know, I, I would think uh, my top choices would be to stay here on the West Coast. But, you know, if an East Coast team is willing to uh, accept me on their team, and um, I know in my heart that they have a, a legitimate chance to win and go to the playoffs and win a World Series, because that's what it's all about. I mean, as a little kid, you grow up, the first thing you dream about is making it to the big leagues, and the next thing you dream about is winning a World Series. So I've done both of those. I feel like I'm a winner. So. I think I can uh, bring that to a club and then help them get there. But who knows? Um, maybe I'll end up here in Arizona. What do you miss most about being out of baseball this year? I think the most things that I miss is just being around the, the, the players and your teammates. And it's like our family. We're, we're together for seven months out of a year. And, you know, you, you have your ups and downs. You have to learn to, to deal with each other's personalities. You know how to jab somebody and when not to. It's just, it's just a great time. It's, it's something that, uh, you know, when I'm all said and done and I announce being retired, then that's something I'll miss. Now, Jermaine, I remember you telling me something that I was touched by in the fact that you had just gotten an offer and most people would have said, yeah, shoot, a couple million bucks, I'll play baseball. But you said to me, you know why I'm not going to play? Because I've, I've earned the position I'm in now. I've earned the salary that I deserve. And you know what, I, there comes a time when you have to say to yourself, what about my family? You know, my kids are nine, eight, and five now. And, um, you know, the, the grind of playing every day and being on the road uh, is something that I had to factor in. And, and if it wasn't gonna be 
um, the best situation for me. You know, I'd rather stay at home, you know, uh, be around my kids. You know, I wasn't able to see, you know, a lot of the first games, uh, first at bats for them in Little League and, and stuff like that. So that's something I had to take an encounter for. And, and you know, I, I, was, I was good with it. I was, I was happy to be home. I was happy to finally get a chance to go travel around the world and, 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 and do that and, and hang around the family and just, just let my body relax. And, you know, who knows? And, you know, I, I stayed ready. I stayed ready. You know, I continued to work out um, just up until uh, the trading deadline is when I kind of slowed down a little bit. But I'll pick it back up here. Uh, in the next couple of weeks and try and get ready just like another season and you know if the right offer comes in the right situation then I'll take a look at it and uh, um, make my decision then.